Hello and welcome back to the Resurrecting Romans with our Basila, uh, my our Basilisa, uh, Valerie. So, what's awesome about today? Well, we just defeated a crusade. That's pretty good. Um, and oh, I have some troops just all over the place. Um, and then this time we're off to go and defeat well this tiny little revolt, and then we might be at peace for like ten seconds. That'd be good. Well, actually, probably longer. We are threatening, so uh, we can't actually declare wars. In honor of the Empire's recent victory, it would be appropriate to hold a triumph in the capital for all the heroic soldiers who fought in the campaign. Such an arrangement will be expensive, but the people will expect nothing less. Yeah, we'll have a glorious triumph. Right. Get on the boats. Head the boats over here. A mighty triumph is held at the Hippodrome to celebrate the brave generals and soldiers who brought defeat to the enemies of the Empire. The people cheers the trumpeters lead a long procession that includes parading soldiers, carts filled with spoils of war, and cages holding captives from the recent campaign. The Empire is on the verge of success. Your vassals are impressed by this display of Imperial power. I take a good look at myself and thought about my weaknesses and strengths. After many hours of soul searching, I realized I have many strengths but more weaknesses. I want humble. Hey, we got humble. Nice. We're looking really, really good as a character now. Right, run over here. Uh, make sure we have the organizer in charge so we get there quicker. Am I giving up anything for this random person? Nope, let's get ourselves a court tutor. Court tutor is gonna be... Uh, I don't know, do we have anybody really good? How about that guy? You can be my court tutor. My eunuch. Right, march in here. Constantinople prospers. For some time now, the county of Constantinople has served as an unofficial training ground for your armies, as there are plenty of open space on which to train and abundant food to feed the troops. A group of senior soldiers now petitioning you for money in order to erect an official regiment uh, a regimental camp in the county. It just gets levy sizes. I have to pay a lot of money for it. Let's do that. What? How long is that buff for? Forever. It gets 15% levy size. Forever. That's crazy good. That's absolutely crazy. Right. 100% war score off of peace and force demands. Right. Disband. Get the men back on the boats. Get the boats back over here. Good. We are well low on money, but that is an insane, um, an absolutely insane uh, buff we just got. Um, it looks like all that time kicking my belly was not just for show. My sweet Nyka Forest is growing into a fierce and healthy boy. Hey, we get Marshall for that. That's not bad. Yeah. Um, we are losing a lot of money, but that's okay. Uh, do I want a half my retinue reinforcement? I have no retinue reinforcement. My retinue is fully reinforced. That's cool. Yeah. So now we're just uh, making money. Oh, come on, Egypt. Why? Wait, it's the Baharids who just declared war on me, right? It's the Baharids. All right, well. I'm going to wait for my retinue to get back, and then I'm going to raise troops. I just need to wait for my retinue to get back first. To offer to join war from Perm. I accept, Perm. Thank you for your help. Right. Merge. Raise up the fleet levy. Uh, sorry, disband the fleet levies. Raise up the fleet levies. Raise up the troops. Um, grab all the troops that we can. Get them on boats. Get the boats. Stick the boats there. Uh, yeah, let's grab more boats, actually. Right, get the boats there. Down here, um, we're going to do a quick disband, re-raise, get on the boats. Uh, well, sorry, keep the boat here. Get on the boat. Get the boat over there. Right. That's fine. Uh, you're just getting disbanded. You're getting disbanded. You guys are getting disbanded. Right. Over here. Disband. You guys, uh, we're gonna walk. 
spans over here. Get on the boats, get the boats, bring the boats over this way. Right, go. I have noticed that uh, Akios and or Akakios and Despot Bartholomeos are not on the best of terms. A situation I hope to remedy. I've invited them both to, for some quality time in Constantinople. Right, cool. We had the greatest time together. Wonderful. They got some war score already. What they got war score for? Lost control of something. Okay. You propose that the king of Germany marries this random person. Oh, actually, my um. Okay, my former character's um wife. Sure, seems like a good choice for you. Right. Merge up. Just charge straight through there. Wait, that's a revolt. Uh, and an army. Yeah, kill the army. Make sure we have leaders in charge of it. And just charge up this way. It's okay. 20,000. Tax the Baharids. Right. Um, you guys want to merge up in here? Good. You want to merge up over here as well? Okay. Right. That's all fine. Wait for this to siege. Assault down. Cool. We should get a lot of war score by doing this. So That's fine. We can just probably siege that one. Uh, ooh, we also have some troops who are on the boats, which we can drop off. Uh, we're actually about to make some money as well. New advisor needed. Um, Despot of Syria. I can maybe convince him to convert. I think I can, actually. Hey, how about you? I can't ask you to convert. Why not? I have to be at peace. Okay, yep. I actually could just think, I thought that through for a second, thought, what's the game going to say? Be at peace is the usual one. Actually, these guys, uh, go merge up over there. Get these 24,000 in. Right, wait a couple days, assault down. Would be nice if you had a war like this, where if you had like a genuine claim on some land that the other guy had, if you could take it somehow. Be like, they declared a war on me, I did nothing. But this land was all de jure part of mine at some point. I would quite like it back. That'd be cool. That's basically just saying I'd like it to be EU4, but you know. Uh, it has some good things. I'm no longer stressed. I'm married to a man I love and I'm in such a blissful state. Nice. Okay. Salt down. Um, that's going to take a while. Salt down. Salt down. Are they going for the war goal? No. Cool. We're good then. We can just keep doing this. We can usurp some land. The Duchy of Lothian. Don't want to usurp the Duchy of Lothian? Nah, not really. I don't care. Right. Wait a few days. Assault down. You'd like to surrender? I accept. I'll take your 1,000 gold. Thank you very much. Appreciate doing business with you. Disband. Head over here. Disband. Right. I think we're good now. I think we've pretty much solved a lot of the problems we have. We have some hostile sieges, but they're all raiders. That's fine. Byzantine fleet can be disbanded. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. That's us. I don't need to mar have ourselves marked to special interest. We have a sun. Yeah, everything's looking good. Threat is only 66%, which is good. Our threat has gone down. We've pushed off a crusade and a holy war. We still pretty much hold a very odd position between these two places. That's okay. My uncle of the Jabalid Revolt has declared a war on... Uh, wait, is that... Does that not say... Oh, I thought it said a holy war. Oh, never mind. I, never, I was getting confused there for a second. And the reason I got confused is because I read the wrong thing. You can pretty much have any education and they're all going to be bad. Let's give you a... Diplomacy education. And that way I can get you educated by someone who's good. And then maybe that fixes a lot of the issues. Cool. Right. Um, we could attack. There's no real reason to attack. Let's just have a look at the defensive pact. What I would also like is if someone attacks you. They should leave the defensive pact. That should be their punishment. 
they shouldn't be allowed to be in a defensive pact against you and attacking you at the same time. Anyway, whatever. Um, we have lots of money. We have a Peasants' Revolt. All the way up here. What, why do we have Peasants' Revolts up here all the time? What have we got going on? Ah, Peasant Unrest, I see. And Incompetent Ruler, and yeah, all Smugglers, well, that doesn't actually add to it, but anyway. We got some things. Just going to raise up some troops, make sure we have the amazing leader while we have them. Just might as well abuse them. And then just send them up like this. So something like that. Go. Beated one army. We've become pregnant. Nice. March our way up very quickly. People are usurping bishopricks. We need a new commander. New commander is going to be... Um, I don't know, Baron the Lombard seems fine. I was going to convert that guy that we could, I got earlier to convert, but um, we can't do that just yet. There's a new person in charge of Bavaria. Do we need a new per person here? Sure, seems good. Yeah, you'd be my new advisor. Right, let's keep cutting our way through here. And defeat the army. Nice, we captured the leader of the revolt. Enforce demands. Execute him. Nice, disband. Uh, you need an education. Uh, let's give you one of those. Get you educated by somebody with good intrigue, like this guy. Right. You, I think you should convert to my religion. Wonderful, he has converted to Orthodox. His heir has not, but that's okay. His heir might if I give him some money and say, do you want to convert? Nope, he will not. Okay, that's fine. At least this guy converted, which is okay. Um, So that's at least one vassal that no longer hates me. Anyone else? Queen of Greece, why do you hate me? What have I done? You're my rival. Oh. Okay. Didn't really know that, but that's fine. Um, Looks like my kinsman is actually well up there. Like this kinsman in particular. Why do people vote for my nephew? He's not as good. Okay. My half-brother would be fine, except he's too old. Ale to be honest, I think Alexandros is too old as well. My nephew is at least young. Who else have I got in terms of age? In terms of age, I could try and get this guy in charge. Yeah, let's try and put uh, Pantoleon as the next person in charge. I vote for him now. Let's see if we can sway some votes. We'll let this guy rot. Uh, that means uh, this... <laughs> Weirdly, by not voting for my nephew, I put my nephew in charge. Interesting. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's absolutely fine. Uh, I can negotiate with this host to stop attacking me. I just prefer if it would do it naturally. Oh, and then never mind. It looks like Alexandros is still there. He's just not as securely there as he was before. We have a daughter named. Uh, S uh, what's that? Sibylla? Sibylla? Yeah, sure. Um, good. We have an epidemic of some kind in the world. Not necessarily with near us, but that's okay. Um, we are now just making 98 a month. Good. Way nomadic agitation. That means we expanded up here. What was the war? It was... Oh, are you going to convert? No, true believer. Okay. What was your war? It was a war for... A ducal claim. Yeah, cool. Um, well, I'll create a castle there. Our threat went back up again to 64%. We're getting there. Uh, I may be uncertain about this pregnancy, but after all the pain and tribulation, looking at the sweet innocent creature fills my heart with joy. Uh, we'll send him off to the wet nurses. That's okay. Um, if they were a genius or strong or something like that, I may have done something different, but no, that's fine. They're both born in the purple, which is good, so that gives them a high chance of... Um, being the next person in charge. 
Um, this guy would like to duel his rival. Let's have a look at his rival. That's my nephew. Or is it... Which rival does he want to duel? Doesn't say. Um, well, either one... Actually, if he duels that guy, he might not win. Yeah, he'd probably win. I'm going to allow the duel. He really likes me for allowing the duel. Which one of his uh, rivals got injured? Neither. Okay. It's fine. Um, as the farmers prepare for sowing their spring crops, your court chaplain suggests you bring out a holy relic in procession and bless the fields. Sure. Let's bless the fields. Um, just checking here. Yeah, the extra uh, peasant unrest stuff went away there. Good. Word of an epidemic. There's an epidemic in France. Uh, it is the Black Death it started in France. Wonderful. Well, let's get ourselves one of those separate wards as soon as we can. New heir is um, Akahios. Yep. The plague approaches. Mobs of new people are arriving in Senlis. I'm sure we've already had a plague, which is why I'm just kind of skipping it for just now. But that's all right. Uh, we'll, we'll be here any moment now. Oh, there's a Lidosian war. And I was like, where's Lidosia? Lidosia. No, it's just Leeds. That's fine. We'll go, go deal with it in a second. I want the separate wards built before I move anywhere. Right. Uh, Greek people are pretty much the only ones I want to be having here. Because they are um, the largest vassal we have, I think. Who I can just instantly raise troops from. Is that right? Are Greece the most powerful vassal? Yeah. Pretty much by far. I think. Anyway. Up here. Defeat the people in Leeds. Disband. Uh, offer peace and force demands. Nice. Uh, just a little execution there. Good. How's our threat looking? Threat is at 62% still. Commander needed. New commander is going to be this guy. See, the thing is, I think we're just in a permanent threat uh, cycle where we're always going to be at 62%. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, Alright, you just need some funding. 30 gold? Sure. It's okay. Why Why is there another Peasants Revolt in Leeds? What's happened to Leeds? Alright, we're pregnant again. But what's happening in Leeds? Why is there so many Peasant Revolts there? Oh, because there's double religious unrest? That is horrible. How many men does Ireland have? Can I do this? Nah, I can't do this more easily. It has to be here. Make sure I have leaders. I might just want to bring my retinue up there. I mean, nobody can actually siege Constantinople anyway, so. Right. Perfect. Worst piece. Uh, there we go. Might as well just execute. Uh, it'll upset some people if I execute everyone. Okay. I can execute this guy though. 10 gold. Let them go. Let them go. Uh, let them go. Let them go. Cool. Let's let that go. Right. Screaming arrows. Uh, we've got some screaming arrows from China and that got us military tech points. Uh, we could grab infantry here, although it's 32 per. It's only We are still ahead of time, so there's no point rushing that one. We inherited uh, Carniola. That's alright. Spawn those troops. Find Carniola, which is up here, because it's one we do quite often. Find somebody we want to give the land to, like this Greek guy, and bam, give it to them. Right. Next one we need, we need a new commander. A new commander is going to be... My Magistros, sure. Why not? Um, my brother's not that far off being the next one voted for. Well, ease, I believe some of your vassals can be discouraged from joining factions. Eh, nobody's in any factions, right? Yeah, not really. The only faction we have is my rival. And, oh, we have this independence one from Hum, but, like, who cares? What's this? Uh, there's a Greek war... I could go and enforce the realm peace. Stop anyone from expanding outside the realm. Let's do that. Let's do an enforced realm peace. 
I know, I'm basically just doing what I get very annoyed at the AI for doing. Oh, there's some smallpox here. Well, might as well shut the gates in a second. Um, realm? I could change some laws. I could change significance or the status of women. Okay. To get Magistros and uh, Scalarios. Um, hmm. I could also only allow vassals to do external wars. They don't like it, but potentially that could be a good thing to do. Grant titles is another one that quite annoys me quite a lot of the time, but um, you know, I might change status of women. Just move that up one. I only need one person, don't I? Yeah, if I can get one person, we can do it. So we currently have uh, Philippos and uh, Akakios who are voting for me. Let's get like this guy. Just get him to a favor. Actually, do we have a better person to be our Scalarios? Uh, Buka here would be fine. Um, my only worry is this guy has, needs a lot of money for a favor, but we'll do that anyway. Fine. Uh, call in council support. We have built the extended ward, so we have a lot of defense now. Significant status of women has been put in. Make sure we don't have any leaders here. Right. Our disease resistance is, should be fairly high. What is it? It's like... Yeah, 68% resistance and a major protection against depopulation. So I'm really hoping that keeps the smallpox out, basically. We passed the law, so we can now have more options for our Scalarios and for our Magistros. So if I look in here, yeah, we now have some women as options. Magistros? We have somebody who's a couple better. Hmm. The only reason I'm considering it I'm putting Bamberg up there. Do you like me as, like, this personal diplomacy, basically? Yeah, just in general, you think I'm great. I think if I could put this guy in charge, then maybe I just lower my threat slightly quicker. I don't know. I'm happy with where it is right now, to be honest. Could shut the gates. No reason doing that before the disease hits. Uh, we have a sickly daughter. Okay. And with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.